y'all it's been 24 hours the soap is ready to come out of the blocks and I just kind of want to show you real quick that when you go to take it out of there that soap that you spilled excess of you're just gonna snap right off so look at this beautiful soap after it's been curing for 24 hours so I'm just gonna set you guys down you can see those beautiful bars I like to use just a brown paper bag that I set them on top of that they sit on while they cure. You can use a piece of cardboard or trays or whatever you like, but we have extra brown paper bags laying around, so I just take my soap, pop it on out of the mold. Oh, beautiful. Mm, it smells so good. And it's a little soft, so you don't want to go digging your fingers into it or anything yet. It hasn't completely cured and hardened all the way, so you just want to gently pull it on out and when you get to one like this where it's where it had broken off or where it had been sorry poured extra you'll see as you pour it out you're just getting these little chunks here they just snap right off no big deal I like to just kind of leave them on there and then when I clean this um, I just use some hot water and kind of run it over before the next batch and it's got those little pieces of soap on it and I get to kind of try my soap out a little bit because those little pieces probably have the lye pretty much cured out of them at this point because it's so thin. So that's all you're going to do. Now if you used a loaf pan with uh, parchment paper instead of using one of these silicone individual ones, you're going to need a sharp kitchen knife. The soap is still fairly soft. It's not, you know, viscous or anything, but it's it's a little soft, so it's not going to be too hard to cut through yet. The longer you wait to cut through it, the harder it's going to be. Therefore, the harder it's going to be to get a nice clean cut. And you see all these little pieces that I'm popping off. That's just where I over poured. No big deal. Just kind of straighten up your edges. Gives a character. Looks cute. So if you used a loaf pan, the whole reason that I did this one long one was to be able to show you what happens if you do a loaf pan. So since you'll have the parchment paper in there and you're just going to work the soap and the parchment paper out until you get your little block here. And see it's one big long block of soap. And then I'll just give, I'll use this guy as a guide. Nice cut there. nice cut there because it hasn't cured yet entirely it's still nice and smooth and easy to cut and you have your nice beautiful bar of soap there now sometimes when you do these cuts um, the edges get messed up a little bit no big deal it just kind of adds to the rustic quality of it and then you're going to store these for about about three weeks four weeks um you know if you're using them yourself you know test a bar out at three weeks and see what it's like okay thanks for joining us hope your soap turns out great